Alrighty, we are back with day three. Find boards downstairs to patch the window. Oh yeah, because we were fixing up the broken window of whoever broke our stuff. Downstairs, downstairs, gotta go downstairs. Wooden board. Get a couple of more boards. There's one. There's one. One more? No? Okay. Can we... Nope. Board up the broken window. I wish I could do that in four hits. <coughs> Three and four. I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh. Yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task, and uh, I'll give it to you. Hmm. Whiskey. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad <laughs> to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Day nine. Oh, wow, that was a skip. Day three to day nine, right? a nice afternoon I might never leave well uh, I call up with some bad news two young women Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean were reported missing they've got parents out in California who haven't heard from uh -oh. them in a week they were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody if they're the girls from last week then you're probably the last person to have seen them It's a coincidence. How many pairs of girls go backpacking? Probably a lot. Yeah, probably a lot. So I guess you didn't get their names then? Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I, I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Oh, day 15. Four more days have gone by. Henry, Henry, wake up. out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Uh-oh. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know? That's great, Henry. Really great. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. 
Day 33. Wow, that's another jump. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. <laughs> Isn't life miserably unfair? Oh yeah. Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Yeah. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> Oof. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. Aww. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. Um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Day 64, two months. Man, this dude's committed. Hmm. You've got a front uh -oh. row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? So, no ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. 
She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. He would like it there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... <sighs> I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit uh -oh. outside. We could talk. Without these radios. We could, um... You know... What? What could we do? Well... Let me tell you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoops. You're going Almost. fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um... You know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like, how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A little lag spike there for some reason. <coughs> Alrighty. Clipboard. What the... Uh, D, I found a clipboard down here and I... Uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Oh, Henry? no, I, no. I'm worried. I want fish. Can you I eat fish? Any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but fish. also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, God. I don't know why I just called you that. Canyon, so to the east. Son of a gun! Oh, that scared the. F <laughs> Henry, are you there? Oh, that scared me. What happened, Henry? I. Holy hell! I just I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Oh. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with what? Trans. Uh, just notes, okay. The scripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with the radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the f 
fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you, are you sure you saw what, what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? <sighs> Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay, there, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seem spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance that they had anything to do with those girls disappearing? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Hmm. <laughs> well. Alright, now we gotta go to... There we go. Used to F be my interact. Uh, man, getting whacked on the head in the middle of nowhere, that's scary. Nope. Someone's doing a little rock art. Towards the north. Going to Wapiti Meadow, Wapiti Station, whatever. Alrighty. Vince. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. What the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. No? <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Yeah, I've tried to get in here before. No dice. <sighs> Shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few mm. days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. And the gate is locked up, obviously. Obviously. I'll see if I can break in somehow. All right. Be careful. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. <sighs> Shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. Okay, we've already heard this one. Firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? 
Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Wow, that's way over well, here. That's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. <laughs> way down to the south of us. Looks like we got a trek, Henry. Let's get going. Rolling, rolling, rolling. In the woods again. I'm getting stalked by some old creeper man. Just don't hit me on the head again. Because I would very much like to live the day. Oh, I am already lost. How do I... This way. No, I need to. Just go through the canyon and then go to the south. No, I need to go this way. The way I just came from. Nice. Way to go, me. Do 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 Ooh, music kinda scared me. A do 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 A do 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 A do 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 A do 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 Thunder Canyon. Is this where that thunderstorm happened? I bet you it is. Let's go east. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I used. And? Do you think that... Maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. That kid, I think, right? Hey, maybe he'd actually enjoy it. You know, spies, taking notes, walkie-talkies. whole thing might actually be fun if you're too young to realize how creepy it is. That's one way of looking at it. He's fine. Let me put that one. It, it was three years ago. He's <laughs> in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Of course we're right. <sighs> Climb the rocks. Man, we really could have died. <laughs> Look for the controlled burns south of the Ruby River.
I hear the bees, but... Wait, am I going to the flapjack fire? Feel like I am. We are the woodsmen, not sticking to the trail. We're sticking to the trail. Not sticking to the trail. Stick and not stick in. these pine cones one chance to die huh interesting Ron, release the powers that could be issued as readers that didn't suck. Most of the time, I prefer to keep things pinned to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. Sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. Been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her. I'm a quarter way through this bottle of fives instead. Miss you, Dave. Oh man, I don't think I copied... There's a scout camp down there. I think I hit the cache over there, but I don't think I copied down the stuff for it. Whoops. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. So close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den. Or, you know, anywhere. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. It looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across Old Pork Pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. And that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Wow, there's some strange stuff going up. Camp Arapaho. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. It's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. I 
it's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelos in large numbers. Hey now. Beware anyone in large numbers. So how am I supposed to get around? This jump spot? Nope. Back the other way. Sorry, the music's just a little bit loud. I don't think that did anything. What am I? I go up. Uh, so is this the bridge that's on the map? No. Need to go down. Long drop down. Here we go. Another long drop down if I would have missed that. There we go. There we go. You ever talked to any of the scouts? Mm, no, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well... Forced. I mean, hmm. I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Oh, wizards and wyverns. Hey, thanks to Brian, <laughs> I can almost recall by memory the armor oh, classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. <laughs> uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Can I not take the bear trap? Let me have the bear trap. I want to capture whoever's following me. Ooh, a fire axe. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. I found a little trowel. A trowel? Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. <laughs> wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? I'm still holding it. Why am I still holding it? Now that's a real mystery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. Hmm. Memo. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Does it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Poverty Station. Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there. Let the mystery percolate. <laughs> my mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Well, you're not. I'm infinitely complex. Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. 
think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? I'm gonna do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm out of here. Bullet paper. You know what I haven't been doing? I have not been taking pictures. Uh, three timbers. God, that's loud. All right, what am I? There we go. Okay. So that gives us more ways of going around. That way. Just to the thoroughfare trailhead. Okay. I do now know that I am able to clear what I came across to. I can go into the cave. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees, in the middle uh -oh. of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Oh, no, 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 no. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? <laughs> oh, lordy. I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. 
Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Down there, to the south. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> After that rousing scare, we are going to end it here. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye now.